Hey guys, I just finished a pretty wicked meditation and um, I was sitting here thinking of a couple things. So a few things that I do for fun are I love to read my oracle cards. I absolutely love it. And I used to spend a lot of time, like I would read my oracle cards and then do a meditation. I was really into them. In the last uh, six months or so, I have come to realize that, you know, oracle cards are great. It's a short-term energy and they're a lot of fun. I still do them. I love them. But what I've come to realize is all the questions that you need answered can be answered through meditation. I just had a wicked trip right now. I meditated for about half an hour here on this rock. I love this rock. Um, it's my favorite rock. I feel like I'm so high. So the water is like way over there. And if you look this way, it's all nature. It's all nature. So anyways, um, I just finished my meditation. I had rainbows. I was like, there was a rainbow going on inside of me all over. And I started, when I came out of meditation, I started thinking, I mean, all my answers, all my questions are being answered through meditation. So the Oracle cards are great if I feel like playing around, but it's been meditation, lucid dreaming, astral travel. I still have it. I'm still working on it. even meditation. I'm starting to bust out of my third eye, which is really cool. I have done some lucid I have done some lucid dreaming. Actually, that's really good. That's really good news. I've done conscious lucid dreaming. So before I used to lucid dream, but uh, I didn't know what was going on. So now before I go to bed, I ask a question and I ask my guides to guide me within the lucid dream to answer that question. And my questions have been answered. So I've been using my Oracle cards less and less. It's just another, it's just growth. Once again, you keep, you're always learning and growing. You're always a practitioner uh, in anything that you do, whether it's here in the physical world or if you want to be in the spiritual world. Another thing I've learned is it's awesome to go travel and meditate and get your answers. I feel like that's pretty cool and I've had a wicked time doing it. I'm going to continue doing it. The other thing that I was starting to lose but I've come out of now is... I'm still here. I'm still human. I still need to be very present with nature and I need to be present with present day problems. There needs to be a balance because sometimes we can go too far over to the other, to the other side. Um, so I think that balance and everything, even spirituality is really important. That's it. I just wanted to knock out a vlog real quick because I just finished my meditation and it's so beautiful and peaceful out here. And I was thinking about my oracle cards and, and you know, you don't even need psychics. My best friend, Harry is a psychic. I talk to a psychic every day, sometimes twice a day. I don't need him to be answering any of my questions because I answer all of them myself through my lucid dreaming, uh, meditation, and meditation isn't just eyes closed. I meditate when I'm cleaning, when I'm cooking. It's all just recently I've had, uh, I've kind of been guided to have more fun, dance. And it's funny, I was just thinking about dance. It's been on my mind for the last four or five weeks. And yesterday I had a friend over and she wants to do the same sort of dance that I want to do. It's an Indian it's called Gatik dance. It's really cool. It's very sensual. Um, and you become one with nature, I think, when you do the dance. So she knows somebody. So it's just all attraction, right? That's it. Attract. I talk about attraction all the time. Keep attracting. Love you guys. Bye.